What do I need to do to, to, to establish opportunity when things are evolving so quickly? You know, Rupert Murdoch, the global media magnet, he observed the, the reality we find ourselves in perfectly. The future does not necessarily belong to the big organization. It belongs to those who are fast. It belongs to those who are agile. It belongs to those who can change faster than ever before. It, it, it belongs to those who can, who, who can change their ideas and change their behaviors and change their approach to faster change in order to achieve greatness and to succeed at opportunity. So here we find ourselves today. We're talking about the future. We're talking about reality. We have this new economic reality which has invaded our space in the last six to eight months. And a lot of us are wondering, well, how do we, how do we focus on opportunity? when we're in such challenging recessionary times. What do we do to focus on opportunity? We, we, you know, we, we look at the economy and we look at what has happened. And we look at the trends. You know, the, you know it's gone down, it's going further, it's going straight into the toilet. And you know, it, it's a challenging time because we wake up every single morning and we read the headlines that we see on CNN and that we see in the newspapers. You know, we see that you know, the American banks face, face a financial meltdown. There's a mortgage meltdown. You know, we see incessant headlines, you know, that report the money managers are shaken by the meltdown. We see the headlines that report, you know, that there's a market cap meltdown and billions of dollars in value have been blown away. We see that the realty crisis is going global. We see that Congress is caught in a bind. We find ourselves in a situation in which we think about growth and we think about opportunity, and then a cold, hard reality keeps on coming back to us. Well, something I'd like to do. I'd like to share with you the date that these headlines appeared in newspapers across North America and around the world. October 1990, December 1990, October 1987, 1989. You know what, folks? This is my fourth recession. I figure I probably have three or four recessions to go in my career. And I, and I think, you know, what is happening here, perhaps newspapers have read about the importance of recycling, and for this recession, they're simply rerunning the headlines from the last recession. It saves them a little bit of time and effort. I think what we need to think about is that we've been here before. We've been through economic downturns before. And I want to share with you a newspaper headline that we know will run at some point in time in the future. We know we will see this headline. We know the headline that we will see on newspapers around the world, and it will be covered in newscasts, it will be a headline that focuses on the fact that we are achieving economic growth. We know we will see this headline. Recessions are always cyclical, and you even find in the news today, you know, even in the last several days, there's a lot of discussion that, you know, maybe we're through this thing, and maybe the signs are finally beginning to point, you know, that we're on an upward slope to recovery. I think what we need to realize is we always come out of a recession. Here's, here's the thing you need to think about. You know, I was on stage in October with one of the world's largest organizations, you know, and, and, and during this, this presentation, this is when the market was crashing. The CEO got up on stage in front of his team and he said, we have three choices in terms of what is going to happen with the economic challenges we are faced with. Number one, we can panic. Number two, we can choose to do nothing. We can choose to do what we've always done in the same way. Or number three, with the new economic realities in which we find ourselves, we can change, we can innovate, and we can adapt. The question you need to challenge yourself with is when do you innovate? Do, do you innovate you know, once we come out of the recession? Do you wait until we know that you know, we're all comfortable with where we're going in the future? Or do you choose to innovate now? And what I'm finding is many of the organizations which are bringing me in today are making the conscious decision, and you've spoken about this throughout the morning, the conscious decision that the time to innovate is now. The time to change is now. The time to invest in the future is now.